Yeah, just currently at the moment we have some uh, federal drought um, recovery money that was allocated last year. Um, so we had $38,000 allocated to us for wild dog control in the area locally here to Coonabarabran and Dubbo, or uh, the Warren Bungle Shire basically covering that area. Um, so that money's to go to help landholders uh, control wild dogs. Um, so we for uh, giving out free wild dog baits, um, meat baits, so we can give out some of those. Um, also for raising um, awareness of uh, wild dogs, so we did some uh, like uh, workshops here earlier um, in the year, so we had about 80 landholders come to those, um, which probably demonstrates a concern that landholders have in the area um, with wild dogs. And also to, to train landholders in trapping wild dogs as well. So um, we're organising those trapping uh, courses with John. Um, to be run in April. To get some more detail on wild dogs, uh, contact your local land service uh, rangers in your area and um, just to let you know that we do have uh, some uh, trapping schools coming up and that way you can um, uh, participate in these schools and, um, and hone your skills and then uh, when I, if I come through then uh, I can set out the run and you guys will be quite capable of looking after the traps. The course is really aimed at those people, you know, within groups um, where we might get John in um, to come and set a, a run of traps and have your skills, the landholders in that area, the skills there so they can go and maintain traps. So that's going to be the most cost effective way of using people like John. Um, where he comes in and uh, uses his experience and expertise in setting traps in the right place so you've got the maximum chance of getting in um, and yeah having landholders with the appropriate skills um, you know where they can maintain trap lines and um, so it minimizes cost but makes it things most effective. They're going to be very practical um, uh, workshops on how to set a trap in the ground and uh, so John will be conducting those workshops um, so you know covering off you know wild dog behavior and biology and all that sort of side of things but yeah, really sort of concentrating on teaching you how to set a trap in the ground properly where um, you've got a good chance of catching a dog um, and also sort of get you started on where those traps need to be set at. So the trapping courses will be run in April um, so John will be the main uh, man uh, running those courses. We also some of that drought recovery money um, available to pay for um, John to come onto your property so any landholder that's having trouble with wild dogs um, to come and actually help um, with financial assistance in, in, in doing a trapping program on, on properties where wild dogs are identified so while we have that money available you know if you do become aware that you've got a wild dog, certainly get in touch with us and um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. The main priorities with that assistance money is supporting farmers that are losing livestock, um, particularly sheep, um, to wild dogs. So those are the properties we'll may have first um, go at um, assistance, uh, receiving assistance. So we'll prioritise, you know, helping those farmers first. And any property where there are identified wild dogs um, that aren't causing damage, then we'll do what we can with those after we've helped you know, those ones that are losing stock.